Boston Marathon with a cheer on his mom. He witnessed the chaos unfold when two bombs were detonated near the finish line. He was 50 feet from there. Then listen to this. Two years later, he was in France doing missionary work when a series of terror attacks killed 130 people in Paris, the city where he had been working just days before. But he wasn't done then. Last year, Mason's luck ran out. He was at the Brussels airport when two suicide bombers blew up the terminal and he barely made it out alive. Mason spoke with us on Fox and Friends from his hospital bed just days after the attack. Everything that I've lived up until this point has fortified my, my personal faith that God is there. I know that I felt his love several times and I know that if I can feel his love sitting on a, a sidewalk next to a destroyed airport that God, he'll, he'll talk to his other children too. And I, I know that he does listen to the prayers and that the prayers that the people are doing right now, they make a difference because I felt them. It has been more than a year since that interview, and Mason Wells is here with us today to share more about how his faith has carried him through these tragedies. He writes about it in his new book. It's called Left Standing. There's a picture of the book, and Mason joins us now. Hey, Mason, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Clearly, your faith is very important. You were in mm -hmm. France as a missionary. Um, how do you, when you, when you think about what's happened to you, you've been in three different locations of terrorist attacks. Do you ask God why, and what's what do you what do you think the reason is? Uh, I have asked that question. Why? I mean, most people don't find themselves in one terror attack, let alone surrounded by multiple bombings, right? And that is a question that has weighed on my mind. Afterwards, I don't spend time thinking about um, what could have happened to me, whether you know I, I should be here or not. Um, I focus on what I'm going to do with my life now that I'm still here. I feel really blessed and. I feel like I have an opportunity to share my story. That's why I wrote the book. And, um, you know, every single day I just try to make the best of what I have. The odds of this happening are astronomical. And so far you have not only walked away unscathed, you did not walk away unscathed. You had uh, bleeding at Brussels, right? You got hit in the ankle. You got burned in the in Boston on your on your face and your hands, correct? In Brussels, Brussels. In Brussels, Brussels, excuse me. No injuries So in you look fantastic considering, you know, what you, what you went through. Um, how do you make sense of this? Do you look at yourself as the luckiest person or the most unlucky person? Well, I'm not sure that luck had very much to do with it, to be honest. I, I consider myself very blessed. Um, I, I think it's really abnormal that someone would find themselves in multiple attacks. But afterwards, I attribute me being alive to a higher power. And through it all, I think I've had kind of two options. Uh, I could either embrace a, a road of hope, hope a, a road of faith, or I can embrace a path of bitterness and anger and frustration against people that did this. And um, I'm happy to say that in, throughout my life I've tried to embrace the first, and I think that's made a big difference not only in my recovery, but getting me to where I am now. Mm, great attitude. Attitude determines aptitude. <laughs> yes. My dad always said, let's read an uh, excerpt from your book where you do decide to forgive the terrorists. Will you read this for us? Of course. Despite my harsh feelings about your acts, I've forgiven both of you. I've chosen not to allow hate to overtake my heart for either of you. I hope that one day that we can meet, so you can know that good has indeed come in the wake of your evil acts. Wow. So you actually forgive them to the point where you hope to meet the terrorists, even if they don't have the same sense of forgiveness that you have for them? If they don't want to be forgiven, it doesn't matter to you? Well, ultimately what I'm saying uh, is in the next life, if, if I run into them, I'm ready to forgive them. Um, I already have forgiven them. Do you think they'll be with you if you believe you're going to heaven? Do you think they'll be with you in heaven? I mean... I, I don't know how it all works out specifically yeah. after this life. I do believe it in a life to come. And ultimately, I think living with um, that faith in my heart and just trying to make the best of everything, embracing optimism, I think that's what's going to carry me through the rest of this what life. What about your injuries? What did you sustain? Um, I see the burns on your yeah, hand. Yeah, second-degree burns to the face, uh, shrapnel lacerations to the head, third-degree burns to the right hand, first-degree to the left, shrapnel to the legs, a blast wound to the left heel. I was in really bad shape. I, I have two skin grafts now. Um, that being said, I'm still... Here in one piece, I, I've gotten back to where I was before I was injured. And Roma Downey wrote the introduction, Touched by an Angel Fame, of Mark Burnett, uh, the wife of Mark Burnett. How was that important for you to have her write it? Well, Roma's, she's a great example all, all, all around. And um, it was fantastic to have her on board, to have her invested in the story. And ultimately, I think it is a story that will touch people. And I think Roma thinks that too. And this is 
why we, we wrote it. I sense a movie, even though you're just 21. It's called <laughs> Left Stand okay, and the so Miraculous. Down a bit. Yeah, and the Miraculous <laughs> story of how Mason Wells' faith survived the Boston Paris of Brussels terror attacks. Mason, great to meet you. Nice. You look fantastic. Glad you're okay. Kind of you. Thank you. God bless you, Mason. He has Thank big you plans for your life, clearly. All right, in 23. Sure. I have a crazy story. Fucking wow. Shit, that's crazy. Huh? Figure it out.